Democrats are trying to dissuade people from voting for Republican incumbent Senator Cory Gardner by saying he is closely aligned with President Trump. You've probably seen the ad in tonight. Our Sean Boyd gives it a reality check. Some political ads are tasteless. Others leave a bad taste. This ad by the Democratic Senate Majority Pack about influencing your taste in Senate candidates. It uses popular foods and, if you believe the polls, an unpopular president to go after Republican incumbent Cory Gardner. Peanut butter and jelly. Two things that go together. You know, like Cory Gardner and Donald Trump. Gardner and Trump gave trillions in tax breaks to corporations and the wealthy. That spin, what the ad conveniently omits is most people, not just corporations and the wealthy, got a tax break under the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Because taxes are calculated as a percentage of your income, people who made more saved more. But the Tax Policy Center, a nonpartisan research organization, says on average, taxpayers saved $1,300 per household in 2018. And according to the Census Bureau, median household income rose almost 7% between 2018 and 2019, while the poverty rate fell 1.3 percent. The ad doesn't stop at tax policy. And just as cream goes with coffee, Gardner stood with Trump and voted nine times to eliminate health care protections for people with pre-existing conditions. Not exactly. Four of the votes the ad cites had to do with a resolution that had no force of law, and yet Democrats introduced amendments to it that had titles like make America sick again, make women sick again, make people with disabilities and chronic conditions sick again. Three other votes were procedural budgetary actions, and two of those arguably were about adding protections for pre-existing conditions. The last couple votes had to do with changes to short-term insurance plans. None of these nine votes by Gardner would have eliminated protections for people with pre-existing conditions. Like macaroni and cheese, Gardner stuck with Trump 98% of the time. This needs context. The claim is in reference to the number of times Gardner voted in favor of bills the president supports. 538.com, a nonpartisan website for political analysis, puts it at 89%. The ad cites a different source. You should know the nonpartisan Luger Center ranked Gardner the third most bipartisan senator based on a number of factors, including Democratic co sponsors on his bills. He's passed 10 bills into law since he became senator. Half of them were signed by President Obama. Bottom line, this ad is meant to convince voters who don't like President Trump, and polls show there's quite a few in Colorado, that Cory Gardner is no different. But the evidence they use to back it up is weak at best. I'm Sean Boyd. That's Reality Check. Thank you, Sean.